Hey everybody, uh, it's Shane here with Junk Teak in Amarillo, Texas, also in Clovis, New Mexico. Um, and today, tonight, we are going to be applying a um, an IOD transfer called Painterly Florals. There should be a link somewhere. Um, in fact, let me see if I can go through and get that on here. Oh, phone isn't wanting to work right. Anyways, bear with me for just a moment. We're going to wait just a minute or two to allow some people to jump on here. And then we're going to dive into it. There's a lot to dive into. Huh. Well, I can't feature the painterly florals because I guess I never made them available online. Whoops. <laughs> Anyways, they'll be online after this video. I will make it a point to uh, make sure that they're available. So let me flick this around. And as you see that there is Jameson. Hello. And this is the dresser we will be applying all of this fun stuff to. Now, that is the IOD transfer. Can you pull that out and give us a show? So, we have the IOD uh, Paintly Florals. I will tell you, I am super, super, super excited about this. Like, I've, uh, as soon as, since we had this one in, I've wanted to use it. But it sells out <laughs> before I ever get a chance to. So we got an order, and I think like two days ago, and I took this and I hit it. It was for tonight, and here we are. Um, Show me the back. Back. So here's what we have. In this particular one, we have eight sheets. Um, and I like this one, this particular one as well, because everything is deconstructed. So instead of having to do a certain pattern or cut things out, everything is already separated. So I can, we get to build this to. Um, match and look the way that we want this to look. Okay, now let me see the dresser. So this dresser here, as you can see, Jameson has used all of these colors on. I would say the primary color that you see is Annie Sloan Florence. And then take us on a tour of your paint job, Jameson. Uh, yeah, so I painted the entire thing in Florence. This was really just a, uh, let's sit down and let's play. This thing has some issues, some themes, so I didn't have to worry about doing anything really perfect. You wanted it to, I wanted it to look older. And so like I sat and looked at the color wheel a little bit and did complementary colors, things that are opposite from it, from from the foreign foreign, which was my primary color. Um, and then uh, I for whatever reason really no rhyme or reason with the darkest color to lightest color. So I started with graphite and I did a dry brush. So a dry brush when I dry brush I put um, a little bit of paint on it and then I always offload first and then you just literally drag it across drag it across so I went up and down all the way around in graphite then I went up and down around in um, Amsterdam green burgundy um, then I did province chateau gray and tilted so I had this uh, piece with all of this layers and layers and layers and layers of dry brush then I took my spray bottle I sprayed the entire thing and I took my rag and I only wiped each piece one time, just to kind of help blend all of the colors away. That's all I did. I I would say actual time spent so far on this piece is maybe an hour total. Super simple, simple process. Aimed on using all of these colors, and um, with the Florence, it was one coat. Simply one coat. <sighs> well, that's fine. It was. Okay, so that's you opinion. you prepared that. And I am going to jump on here and I'm going to say, please leave us a comment and let us know where you're watching from. Um, that's just for us. We really enjoy it. Um, and even if you don't want to say where you're watching from, at least say hi. Say hello. Hello. Say hi, Jamison. Hello. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to give this to you real quick so that I can go on the other thing and make sure that we're where we're supposed to be. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and do pretty much the unboxing of this. Um, these uh, all come in these resealable packages, which is great because you don't have to use them all. Dun, dun, dun. And like I said, this particular one, this is the first time I've got to take it out of the pack. I've got to take it out and actually see it, so I'm super excited about it. So once you open your uh, booklet, here's what we got. 
so everything is on an individual page and all the pages are um, attached. Oh my lord, this is going to be fun. So these beautiful sunflowers, and I don't know if you can see the uh, brush strokes, but there's actually like brush strokes in these, in these leaves and these flowers. IOD's done a very, very, very good job. Here's what our lavender sprigs look like. More leaves and more flowers. Ooh, this is, I'm excited. And these are good examples of your brush strokes and how it actually looks like these are three dimensional painting. I mean, look at that. I'm impressed. Hi, Regina from Amarillo. Here's this page. Same thing, we got these beautiful, looks like crazy oil painted flowers and stalks. And there's so many. And the last one is another page of lavender. I think these I think these single stalks of lavender are super cool because you could really stick a, a lavender stalk or two anywhere. Edges of mirrors, corners of round pots. Yeah. Are we working yet? I can't hold this and work at the same time. We're getting there, we're getting <laughs> there. Sorry for the delay. So we get a we get a lot, a lot, a lot of interest in the IODs, but everybody seems a little standoffish with them. So hopefully people will actually watch this and see, oh, that's all it is? Because it really is super simple. Nothing to be afraid of. You know what I didn't see? Oh, huh. These things also inside have a burnishing stick. These fun little things right here. And that's what we will actually use to get these sunflowers, which um, with this particular piece, I'm envisioning mainly sunflowers, uh, but how we will get the sunflowers from here to here. We're not there yet. <laughs> I will slowly flip through them one more time. How was everybody's weather today? It was another scorcher over here. I don't know officially, but I would say it got pretty darn close to 100. We'll have to say that the humidity level here has been was better today than it was last week. These wreath things are pretty neat too. Those would be neat on like a plate or a circle window. Hi Rhonda, where are you watching from? So tune us back in. What's going on? We are getting ready to put these uh, IOD transfers. I'm doing the painterly florals onto this piece right here. And I didn't mention this, but you can kind of see how this piece is has this edging that goes all the way around it, almost like a frame, if you will. And that's what made me think, oh my lord, this is absolutely perfect. This needs. Something framed in the center. See, I want a decoupage, but the IOD is what won the vote. All right, let's do this, Mr. Hip. Okay, so I'm just gonna dive right on in. Now this is kind of, you know, where your own creativity uh, plays in. What I'm seeing in my head is some sunflowers. I want these sunflowers going this way, these this way, these in the middle with a few lavenders above them. So, I'm going to take my pieces and I'm going to rip it out of the book, starting with this page. Um, 
No, those are nice. They have grid lines. Right, you have your grids. Um, if you're doing something where it has to be straight or it has to be even, um, words, for example, maybe you're putting like a, your favorite saying or something across it, the, the, um, the grid lines come in super handy. Rhonda is watching from Amarillo, Texas. Hello. And those of you in Amarillo, we have these in stock. So we're open tomorrow. <laughs> Once you see how easy this is, you're going to want to jump on in. Yeah, and the fun thing with this life. is you can stick these things to everything. I have done windows, suitcases. I've done all kinds of stuff. It's not just for furniture. It's for all kinds of things. And actually, while he's cutting out his pieces, I am going to take y'all on a little bitty tour. And I'm going to show you a piece um, that uh, we did. And we used one of the first gen transfers. If, whoa, if the light is good enough in here. So that is a transfer on this dresser and this is actually another one the pig probably my favorite one but again those are first gen uh, the kind that we're using now they're a little bit of a different style just as beautiful and just as easy to apply so on that note, I'm going back to our little makeshift workroom through the curtain. We're back, Jameson. You're back. Okay. So where are we at? Looks like he's got all of his pieces cut out. I got a lot of pieces cut out. There's so many. There's so many. I tell you, this particular one is eight pages. These huge pages, eight of them filled. Um, obviously, I'm not going to try to stick eight pages worth of stuff on here. I mean, you could. I mean, I could, absolutely. Like, and you can literally build them up. You can put one on there, like for instance, a stalk. And then you can put a sunflower or something on top of it. And then if you didn't like that, you could put something on top of that. Like, right, or overlap it. Which... Okay. So the best way I can describe a transfer, it's almost like a sticker. But it's not a sticker. <laughs> this, uh, I don't know how very else. Descriptive, very descriptive. Yeah, I don't know how else to explain that. But they're very easy to use, as you as you are about to see. It's eight forty three. It's been almost fifteen minutes of talking. We need to get this match okay. in. Well, I'm ready to go. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with. I'm going to actually start with the stock because I want to see how high I'm going to build my sunflowers up. Um, I'm starting from the bottom. Most of the time when I do these, when I'm doing full sheet ones, uh, I mean, I'm talking about a, a sheet of these, the size of this, you put the whole sheet on it. Those are a lot of fun too, but I start at the top. But this one, I'm gonna start at the bottom because it is a root if you want to kind of put it from the ground. So you took off the backing paper. Yeah, so the backing paper um, is literally just on it. I wouldn't even say you stick to it. It's just literally a matter of lifting it off. So here we go, here's my, here's my first stem. Without any backing paper, I'm gonna put it where I want it. I'm not trying to make y'all motion sick. Sorry for the zooming in and out. I just want y'all to see close up. So what he's doing now is he's burnishing. Each pack comes with that burnisher, and burnishing is is, is just kind of like rubbing with a, with a little bit of pressure. Yeah, rubbing with intention. And also, I will interject here. As you can see, he's literally going right past the drawer onto the divide, then onto the next drawer. It's 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 a thin plastic, so you can mold it very, 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 very easy around all of the stuff. No, not hard at all. And then when he's done, he would just come in with a razor and slice the edges in between the drawers, and there you go. Or or you could take the drawers out and do it that way as well, huh, Jameson? Right. And depending on what I'm doing, I've done both ways. 
and I wouldn't say I prefer one over the other. I would just say it depends on what you're doing and how you want to work with it. Um, one thing I did forget is my razor. Oh, I'm sure we have one in this building oh, somewhere. We do. We do have okay. So once you get it stuck on there, you start peeling, and it's really simple. If your image like breaks or rips, this is these are very, I would say these are like tissue paper fine. So uh, as long as nothing moves, you can just put it right back and keep going. It's not not a big deal. So I'm watching, making sure it's coming off with me. There, there, there's my turn. I'm gonna rub this down here. that we have a sunflower. We have a sunflower stalk. Okay, so <laughs> I know that I want this sunflower to face this direction. So that's what we're going to do. And you just peel it off. Place it wherever, wherever, however you want it. And rub it up, up. That is a beautiful sunflower. I don't know, I tried showing it a second ago, but like the actual brush strokes, you can see the movement in it is pretty, pretty neat. Going up and around my corner. Just have to find transfers that you like. Yes, I absolutely agree, Michelle. But I will also say there are all kinds of them. Do we have any others here? Oh, yeah, I have a midnight garden right here. Yeah, we have, we have the basketball, too. Boom. So, oh, let me zoom this back out. So here's another one. This is midnight gardens. This is probably one of my favorites. Um, this one only comes with four sheets, but you've got the black and white flowers, the peacock, more black and white flowers. It's the black and white flowers. It's kind of my thing. And then each package, as you can see, has examples of what they look like on furniture. That one's beautiful. That They're, they're all beautiful. But this is just one I had on hand, but we have a basket over there of the ones in the tubes those which are all other different kinds it's just instead of a pad they are in a, on a roll but it's the same thing right same thing no difference the way you do it Let me zoom in so we can see that. Yeah. So when you're pulling it off, so you see right here, this uh, tip of the leaf, you see it in your video, the tip of the leaf is not stuck to here, it looks like to here. So like I said, as long as you don't move anything, you just push it right back down and give it another rub. And now, that little bit, those tips don't, Beautiful. Now where are we going? Now we're just going to kind of start playing. Like I said, I envision like almost like a bouquet of sunflowers. This one's kind of neat. We'll do this one next. Put it in here. 
the little overlapping so it covers it. I have a plan. I don't know people will probably like, oh my god, he's thinking of sunflower in the middle of the thing. I have a plan. I hope so. <laughs> All right, so we're pretty rocking and rolling. Does any, does anybody have any questions? Yes, please. And all of you new new viewers. Anything, Michelle wants to know if there's anything vintage Western. Hmm. You know, the, how they have them here, we do have the, the black and white ones that are in the rolls. They're like dairy milk. I guess they're more farmhouse than Western, aren't they? Yeah, they're more farmhouse. So when you say Western, are you talking like John Wayne movies, cowboys, all that kind of Western? Spurs and leather. Yeah, Spurs and leather. Are you talking about that kind of Western? Because we do have one. It's Farmhouse. And it's got like dairies and all that stuff on there. Let me see if it'll let me actually preview that. Why is this not showing all? Oh, right here. Feature. So I just featured it, Michelle. It's the farm fresh signage. It's got cow. It's got some cows and some pigs and chickens. That's more country. Yeah, I would think country more than western, but. I'm not gonna lie, though. I mean. These sunflowers, to me, my brain can take them to a place of, yeah, depending on what it's on, like you know, sitting on a porch, drinking sweet tea. I don't know. Like I can see all kinds of stuff. Oh my gosh, what in the world happened? We have seventy three, eighty viewers. Well, hey viewers, where y'all watching from? Yeah, true stuff. What what do you seal it with? We seal it with, uh, we're going to be sealing this with Annie Sloan Clear Wax. I love all things Annie Sloan, and her Clear Wax is the bomb.com. But you could also use a top coat or a lacquer. Yeah, so I guess for those of you who, have it, who weren't here at the beginning, this has been painted, all these colors, um, but not sealed. So this is raw. Paint. Call it raw, raw paint because it doesn't, hasn't been waxed, hasn't been sealed. I'm just going directly on the screen. And that is very important. You do not seal before you put the transfers on. You seal after. Very, very, very important. And onto that whole clear wax thing uh, for sealing, I have always used that. Always. I have pieces that in my home. Um, I have pieces in my Clovis store that I have had for a long time uh, that aren't for sale. And I have never had an issue with them. Once these suckers are down, it's good. Yeah, you know, like our any Sloan demo pieces. They've traveled the country. They've gone from one side of the country to another state and many nights in the heat in trailers, many nights in the cold in trailers. We haven't had any issues. Got lots of Annie Sloan. Yes, ma'am, look at that. <laughs> That's the <laughs> last of Annie Sloan. We've got every color she has. And a lot more. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back in here. As always, if you guys have any questions, please let leave them in the comments below. And let us know where you're watching from. We have 167 viewers. Hey, awesome. So, or 173 viewers. So please, definitely, let us know where you are watching from. And questions. I like questions. Yeah, questions make it more fun. Boom. So I am curious to see how you pull that off still. Well, I'll give you a hint. This sunflower is going to go here. Okay. Like it's going to be, it's, you're not going to know, you're not going to realize this is just this. And then we have, oh my gosh, so many different kinds of stems. I can, I, I'm going to add to them. For those of you who, those of you who haven't seen, brilliant. I'll just give you a quick page to, a quick flip through the ones that aren't sunflowers. Um, What's lavender? Lavender sprigs. 
lavender wreaths, or that's not lavender wreaths, purple flowers, um, a lot of leaves, more sunflower stems, roses. You can tell if you can see or not, those roses have crazy paint marks and looks like an oil painting. Um, another book of roses, um, rose stems and rose leaves, and more lavender. Lavender, I think, is going to be one of my favorite things. Like, I, I can't think of anything that I don't want to stick lavender to. <laughs> Okay, so I need another Okay, while you regroup, I'm going to jump on and do another little intro here, seeing as we have loads more viewers now. I am Shane, and that was Jameson. We're here with Junk Teak um, in Amarillo, Texas. We also have a location in Clovis, New Mexico. Um, tonight we are applying an IOD transfer, or many IOD transfers, to a uh, a dresser, a chest of drawers that um, Jameson painted in many, many different Annie Sloan colors. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, even if it's after the live, and we will get them answered. And as always, you can find everything and anything that we're featuring for the most part, including Annie Sloan and IOD products, on our website at www.junkteak.net. Um, are you kind of regrouped? Yeah, I'm ready to put my next Regina up. said, saw your display at the Nat yesterday. Oh, well, th yeah, thanks, Regina. It used to be a lot more cool when we had all of the Annie Sloan over there. Um, we actually sold some stuff. I need to... Oh, man, I forgot. We were, I, I wanted to take stuff over there today. Yeah, we did forget. Uh, yeah, they're not open tomorrow. There will be new stuff at the Nat next week. <laughs> yeah, next Saturday, to be technical. Okay, so let's see where he's going. I'm just thinking, I definitely want them layered. You're going to need more stems. Sunflowers only ha like have one stem and one flower. Yes. I cut out some more stems. Oh, hey, boom, there <laughs> we go. But we do have to be a little bit sparing, and there's going to be other things on here, lavenders and stuff. Um, Regina, I'm curious, and Michelle, have I, I can't tell who you are by these itty bitty little round pictures. Have either of you been to our to the, to the new store here in Amarillo, across from the Nat? Little black and gold building, kind of easy to point out. Nope, oh, your head's in the way there. My head. Yep. Sorry. Well, it wouldn't be my head. Well, we're talking to Regina. I thought maybe Regina's head somehow magically popped on there. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just got to put it. Just got to do it. Let go. Okay, so he has applied the transfer. Now he's taking the burnishing stick that comes in each and every pack. And he's burnishing. So burnishing is you just lightly rubbing it. With, well, you know, it's really not much pressure. It's it's like it's like waxing. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to wax or I hate waxing because it's so much arm work. It shouldn't be. If it is, you're doing it wrong. And it's the same thing with this burnishing. Um, he's not sitting there like scrubbing it into the piece. Yes, if you're getting tired, there's something wrong. Uh, so I had to give this a light sand to get some of the rough pieces off since it was dry brushed so many times it built up quite a bit. Um, so I had to make sure that I gave it a good cleaning. So that I'm not trying to get onto the, the dust the paint makes when I sand it. That kind of thing will be a reason why you're having to like scrub, 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 scrub. So if that's happening, then there's something wrong with your piece or something, something's not right. Yeah, you do want it to be clean. And again, that's a reason why you do not, you do not, do not, do not wax beforehand. You could probably get away with top coating beforehand, but you're going to have the top coat when you're done anyway, so I don't see why you'd want to do it twice. And Regina and Michelle both said not yet. You haven't been in yet. We've been here for over a month. You need to come in. <laughs> You've missed all kinds of good stuff. I swear, this store changes almost every week. <laughs> right. It's a little store, you know, so we got to keep it fresh. And uh, most of our stuff is one of, it, one of each. We'll never be back. So 
for those of you watching, if you can see this whole product that I'm featuring, that one's one of my favorites. Um, it's called Botanist's Journal. I've used it on many pieces before. Um, it will not allow me to feature the one that we're using because I don't think I've added it to what I need to add it to. But I am featuring the Botanist Journal. It is different. Is um, the one with the big sunflower on the Yeah. Side? Oh, it's pretty. It is pretty. Mm -hmm. But just so you know, if, if you do click on that, it's not the exact same one. It's not. That also comes in a tube and not the pad. He scoot around his head there. Once I figure it out, I'll move up the way. Wait. Not yet. Not yet. So, so what I'm not yeting is, um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sunflower heads. Only three stocks, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to create it. But like I said, I, I plan on putting bunches of lavenders down here, so I think it'll be, I think it'll be this one. And I also have a lot of leaves that I can push out. It's all in the fun. It's all in the fun. Right. Okay. Now, so I have a question, opinion. Um, sunflowers naturally follow the sun, so it makes sense to me that all of these sunflowers face the same direction. But the artistic side of me says they can't. They can't. Since I'm going for buffet or buffet bouquet, more of a bouquet style of sunflowers, I have to turn it. So I vote. Are you asking this as a vote? Yes, I'm asking people's opinion on this. Oh, okay. Well, I vote aesthetically. Absolutely, no doubt. Facing opposite directions is going to look the best. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe but, not. Who knows? We're gonna have like a sunflower garden. Who's like, no? <laughs> sunflowers have to face the same direction. Okay, so everybody give us, chime in with your opinion. Shall the other sunflowers face the opposite way? Give us an example of that. So, for example... No, just all you, all you need to do is hold it up. Yeah, for example, okay. this side would be this way. Yeah, so that side would face to the right. Or, should they all face to the left? I vote, personally, for the right. Then when I started putting them up there, I'm like, oh, I should have asked if this is what I want to do. <laughs> Mary said opposite. I agree, Mary. Good. Teresa's at Dragging Main and Clovis. Uh, Missed seeing you guys in the shop earlier. I'm going to have to watch this replay because I did one this morning and need a refresher. Oh, well, that's fun. I wonder what you did it on, Teresa. When you come back, leave us a comment and let us know what you did. Also, I hope you have the greatest time at Dragging Main. I'm really sad. That we the couldn't. First time in years, we haven't been there. Yeah, I couldn't be there. Like I'm not kidding. It, it 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 hurts me on the inside that I'm not there, cruising up and down the street in my really pretty Trans Am. But it is what it is. We're here putting some transfers on, and you want to know what? That's pretty fun too. Right, I'm having a good time. Uh, has anybody else said anything on direction? No, just okay. Mary. We have 114 people we watching, are, we and are, we have only had one opinion. We have three against a million, but the million aren't voting, so we're going. All right. So does that more mean that we're going opposite? We're going opposite. So I have one that's one centerish, it's facing forward, and the rest will go opposite. So be well, like shouldn't you do position. the other side first so you know how to center that? You do what you want. Sorry, I'm, this is your project. I'm interjecting. It happens. I'm trying to be nature. Nature doesn't always take a step back and look and see where. It's okay, going. but are you trying to be nature or are you trying to like make a bouquet? Because nature also does not make bouquets. Right. Bouquet. I don't know why. Am I saying that wrong? It doesn't bouquet. sound right. Bouquet. Bouquet. B O or B U. How does everybody say it? Bouquet, bouquet, bouquet. Bouquet. I feel like it's a B O U Q U E T, correct? I bouquet. Like I feel like it's just one of those words where you say it more weird. It sounds. It weird. sounds really weird. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's spelled right or wrong. It just doesn't sound right. Ooh, Rhonda said same direction. Oh, we have an opposing opinion. Oh, and and her thing just got liked. Uh oh. By Regina. Regina, does, does that mean that you feel it should be the same direction as well? I'm not going to lie. I think it might be too late, but maybe not. So, again, 
back to the point of this video. He has taken the backing off of that transfer. He has laid it upon the piece, and now he's using his burnishing tool to slightly rub. <coughs> and you can see his hands are in the way, but what he's doing is he's peeling off the paper that it comes on. Oh, did you see how that piece was still on the paper? This piece is tricky. So this right here, if you didn't hear earlier, this stuff's like paper, tissue paper thin. So obvious, I'm not gonna sit here and spend forever getting inside of this screw. So I want it to rip right there, but I want it to stick right here. So I'm making sure that I'm pushing well enough where that's stuck, but it's not still connected. Hope that makes sense. Michelle is also saying, I think same direction as if the wind were blowing it. I mean, they're making some points. Like, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm I am the one who argued for it, so I can't say, I'm still, I can't say I'm still that. torn. I'm still absolutely torn. I'm leaving it up to you, Jameson. Well, I've already, I've already turned it. I've already turned it. Is it too late? You could stick a... F I mean, I could. You absolutely could. If you so desired. Just do it. do what feels right to you. I've got to do it, guys. I think all of your opinions are absolutely amazing and wonderful. Your opinion was my opinion to begin with, so I give it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I brought it up. <laughs> I think that happened last week's video, too, didn't it? I wanted someone's opinion, and when I changed my mind, did what I wanted to do. No, that was on the stamping. Oh, which, if you haven't seen it, I don't know if you can see it from here, because we kind of have everything pushed over in front of it, but... There's the piece we finished stamping. Yeah, if you watch our lives, that was last week's. Yeah, that was last week's. Regina said, I'm sure it's going to be beautiful either way. I agree, and I'm really, really liking this blue behind it. Michelle says the same thing. It's going to be beautiful either way. What do y'all think about that blue behind it? That's Annie. The main color you're seeing is Annie Sloan Florence. And with the yellow and those sunflowers, it's just doing it for me. It was very thought out. That was one thing when I was painting the, the base of it. Like you wanted me to add more yellow, more yellow, more yellow. But I knew that I was gonna have all kinds of yellow, oranges. And... and Mary says, go with your heart, follow your gut. I agree, Mary. This is weird because like I don't usually sit in my chair or in a chair. I don't think I've ever I don't think I've ever done a video with you where I was sitting in a chair. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. And also guys, like while we're doing this, I want everybody to think about the things they want to know more about. Let us know what you want our next live video to be. If you have questions on on gilding waxes, on leafing, on I mean the Andy Sloan world is so huge. Um, let us know what you're interested in, what you want to see, what you want to know more about, and we'll show you guys. I wholeheartedly agree. We just did. Oh my gosh. I did all kinds of gold leafing <laughs> on this Regency style piece that I'm hoping to get done this coming week. So keep an eye out for that. That will be in Clovis. Um, big Regency style buffet. Gorgeous fluted legs. It's it's beautiful. It's it's it's, it's takes your breath away. <laughs> what happens when you put a hundred pieces of gold leaf on something? Truth, <laughs> truth. It, it becomes a uh, stunning. But but I don't know if you if if if, if you guys ever saw that video. But Annie Sloan's leafing sheets are back. So, normal leaf, you get the packet, it's like a booklet, and you have to be very careful. You need to make sure your hands are, <coughs> excuse me, totally clean. Um, and then you, I always would baby powder my fingers because they're so delicate. Well, Annie's uh, leafing sheets, they're backed, so you don't have to do any of that. You, there really is no delicacy left in it. You just pull the paper off, get your sizing ready, stick it on there, and boom. You pull, you pull the whole paper off, 
and the leaf that was on the backing stuck wherever you had the sizing, and you move on to the next piece. Like I'm telling you, it's a game changer. Okay, if you've ever, if you've ever gold leafed, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. Where you touch it, it just crumbles. <laughs> uh, it is a game changer. I Mich think me and Jay would probably both be a little crazy right now if we tried to do what we did on those legs with regular, regular leaf. leaf. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it'd be insane. Michelle is requesting a George Strait transfer. I'm stuck on one of his songs lately. Is that <laughs> write this down? Is that George Strait? Oh, you'll get some comments on that. <laughs> oh no! Don't be mad at me. I'm not like I I, I I'm not super country. It is it is George Strait. I know, but I'm just saying you're talking their language. You're talking country music. They're about to hop on down. <laughs> that would <coughs> for me. That would be. Um, Something you would decoupage. What? George Strait. Decoupage? Because mm -hmm. then you can get, then you can literally get whatever you want. Get any image you want. Yes, sir. About twenty-three years old. That song is twenty-three years old. Yes. It has aged very well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Definitely throw us a like if you agree that "Write This Down" by George Strait has aged well. Because I. Can't believe that song is twenty three years old. Michelle says so has George. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and what, um, you can you guys you guys from Amarillo can also keep a lookout. We're uh, working really hard to get some workshops going here. Um, so it's this right here, what we're doing, but you're here with us and we're all doing it together and it's a lot of fun. Lots of fun. But we, you know, we had to open and get rolling before we, I even could, could, could consider any of that. I kind of am excited to, to see if you do leaves or not. Because I'm not going to lie, I don't think it looks bad okay. sans leaves. Sands? Did I use that correctly? Sands leaves? Like with no. Sands without? Yeah. Gosh, like. I don't know why every time we do this. Did, I could have told you exactly who no. was wrong, but now you're making me. But I feel like yourself. we. I feel like we. We've been they, doing this. Everybody watching thinks we're idiots. Like, oh my god, there's another word they don't. They're trying to use. They don't know the meaning of. No, like bro, <laughs> and we keep doing this during these videos. Like last last week, remember it was skin a cat. Cat. And why in the world? Way to skin a cat. Yeah, and why in the world? And you see, now that we're saying it, we know it, and it sounds absolutely, absolutely normal. Perfect. Yeah, but last week we couldn't like pin that down. Wait, right, we're like, are we like saying something really evil? Because we can't. <laughs> yeah, why would you ever skin a cat? <laughs> right. I guess. Uh, I guess it comes with age. You start thinking about things you're saying, and like, especially in today's world, is that politically correct? Are we allowed to say that? I'm not even worried about politically <laughs> correct. I'm just. I don't know. I don't I know. Ain't, I ain't trying to go out here and abandon Point is, we, 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 we've been quite silly. But back to the point of the video. That's coming out gorgeous. Regina, it is telling me that you have requested to join the broadcast. Would you like to join the broadcast? Because if so, we can make that. I, I can click a button and we can make that happen. Be careful what you wish for. I'm not trying to freak you out. Like, I'm just it saying. It was an accident. Just say no. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be kind of fun. I don't think we've ever done a live with someone else coming on. Have we? No, we haven't. No, we haven't. All right, let's zoom back in here. We have um, we have done mini lives with Danny Stone watching. Yeah. We want to talk about her back the first time you put you up on and she's watching you paint with her paint. You trying to teach it. She's very nice, though. Regina said, no thanks. I was pushing <laughs> buttons. 
I mean, I'm down. I think it'd be fun. Let's all meet Regina. change this. And Regina, when you come in, you have to let us know who you are. <laughs> like, cause I'll remember this. And Michelle as well. Absolutely. And, and don't wait much longer. Like, that's... We've been here for... Since May 1st. It's the middle of June. That's insane. Y'all have missed all kinds of good stuff. And this beauty will be here tomorrow for self. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, and for those of you just now tuning on, again, let's do a refresher. So, this is a chest of drawers that Jameson painted in all of those colors of Annie Sloan that you see up there at the top. Ooh, the camera did not like my finger. It kept shifting focus. Um, so, he painted it in Florence and then dry brushed all of those other colors. Um, now, he is applying an IOD transfer or many of them that come in this pack and that's all we're doing is we're showing you just how easy it is to apply these transfers they are easy and I I, I enjoy it a lot I have a good time with it and something I want to point out like this the way he's doing this is beautiful just because of the structure of the dresser like, do you see that frame that goes all the way around? So he's doing this in that frame. I think that's a that was a genius idea. Um, wonder where you heard that. And, like, I didn't know what was going to happen on this piece. I didn't know if you were doing those on the sides or what. But I am happy that you decided to do, to do them on the front. I've had, uh, I've had a lot of different ideas. Like I said, I've been waiting to use this particular IOD. Um, every time we've ever ordered it in, it is sold out before I've got a chance to use it. So when we got it in the shipment the other day, I pulled it out and really got thinking. I'm not planning, I wouldn't say this is planned out. I would say just, I knew I wanted it here on the front. That's it. <laughs> Ooh, what happens if I click this button? Is it any brighter? Yeah, maybe a little. Nobody has mentioned anything that they would like to see? No. Yes, totally be coming in. I've got to have some many phone experts. <laughs> Let me see. We've done color washes. We've done stamping more than once. We've done. We're doing transfers this week. Like. We could do kitchen cabinets. Uh, cabinet video. Um, did we do a basic like waxing video yet? Uh, I don't know. We have this guy named Johnny Lewis. Who knows who in the world that is? What about Johnny Lewis? Johnny Lewis is putting many comments saying do not buy it do not buy what johnny lewis where to go johnny lewis jr i don't know you're being removed mctrolio hmm well yeah I i've never seen that before me either but there's a first for everything I think this is my last sunflower. Is it your last one? Yeah. 
All right, Johnny Lewis, you were blocked. So I don't know if you're still commenting, but if you were, have fun. I don't know. What? Have fun with talking to yourself. Yeah? Um, I don't know if other people can see him, but we can't anymore. Peter's going to hate. So... As, I, as we've said many times, he has applied the transfer. He's using the burnishing stick that comes in every pack. We burnish it. And we burn, and he's burnishing. Rhonda says waxing would be great. Well, I know this has been a long video. We will do a little bit of waxing on this. Yeah, stick around. Sharon would like to see waxing also. Well, I guess, hey, hey, stay tuned. Sharon, where are you watching from? Are you Clovis or are you Amarillo? Or somewhere completely different, who knows? All right, let me zoom out and see. What he has created with those so transfers hard. so far. That's beautiful. Beautiful. See, and what I'm thinking with these leaves is some of these places don't necessarily make sense to kind of push it, fill it in a little bit. And then fill the bottom with some lavenders, maybe a couple of rose stalks coming out to the sides. Kim said she loves the sunflowers. Sharon is watching from Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Hey! Well, I'll tell you, we are in the Windy City. <laughs> ah, the wind here is nuts. Oh, burnisher stick. I lose it 30 times when I'm, when I'm doing these. Which is cool, because like I said, they come in every single pack, so after <laughs> you've used one, keep it. When you use the next one, keep it, and then, hey, you're set up. Yes, I have a jar full of them. Okay, I want to play with some lavender. By the way, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do them in groups. So I want to cut these three. Do you all see how easy that was? He straight up jumped in and said, I want to play with some lavender. And boom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we go. So here's my little lavender bunch. Let me zoom in on that. Okay, when I zoom, it's not super clear. But that's beautiful. It is. It's very pretty. Like I said, I'm excited about these two. Let's put a stick of lavender on a lot of things. And again, I'm working from the bottom to the top because I know where the bottom, and I know exactly where I want the bottom to be. So the top is not super important. Uh, yeah, Kim says, oh. <laughs> it is, it's, it's coming out great, Jameson.
Do you know we could do a decoupage video next week? They want to see waxing. Like, do y'all want a whole video on waxing, or do you just want to see the waxing on this video? It's kind of an important question. Yeah. I kind of feel like waxing is kind of a light bulb moment. People see it being done, like, oh. <laughs> it is easy. But at the same time, just about everybody I hear having issues with pain, it's using the wax. And that's 98% of the time because someone has used too much or too little. Or used it on a different product. So again, he has chosen his lavenders. He has placed them on the piece. Now he's burnishing them on. Those sunflowers are pretty. Michelle says just this video it really is super easy to use the wax I absolutely could use Sharon says she could use a refresher on waxy well what are your thoughts Jameson you want to think about it throughout the week I mean if we I did a like, video, I feel like waxing is easy enough. Even if we just did a board, like like our like our white board, you could paint a board, show them, show them, do clear wax, do dark wax, do black wax, even do building wax, and that's thirty minutes. Uh, do I don't know if it would if it would take thirty minutes. So it's a thing. Right. and then and then we could take a it, it sounds like Shane's wanting to do the video. I don't like to take a so I don't like getting my fingers sticky. <laughs> As silly as that sounds, I don't know what it is. I've always had an aversion to that my, my, my whole life. I don't like getting my fingers sticky, and I'm sorry. When you decoupage and you're in it, you get your fingers sticky. It's what happens. So, I don't really like to, to do decoupage, but if y'all want to learn how to do it, we will get it figured out in 10, won't we, Jameson? Yep. We decoupage a lot at the store. I do a lot at the store. So do you want to like do a split video, like half waxing, half decoupage next week? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. All right. I'll still, I'll still wax on this tonight too, but then we don't have to spend an extra 45 minutes. We can just do a real quick, quick show them how to sew this thing on there. Okay, so I think Sharon was laughing at me not liking, liking to get my stinger, my, well, I can't talk anymore. My, <laughs> my stinger's ficky. My <laughs> <laughs> um, well, probably because you're a furniture painter. I will tell you, he doesn't get a drop of paint on him when he paints a piece of furniture. Now, he can paint half of a wall and he'll be covered in paint. Yeah, it's weird. It's so weird. It's so weird. You know what I say? It's weird. And this is not, I'm not trying to be a salesman. But, you know, like, any Sloan paint is really thick, so it's very easy to control, whereas latex has got much it's, uh, much more viscous, you know, if you're painting a wall or something. So, I'm going to say it's that. And Michelle says, okay, okay, showing different wax colors would be a good video. Right. We will get it done. Yes, we want the perfect... Perfect facts, facts for you for your next so, so, so keep an eye on the pages. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's Junk Teak or Prairie Roads Junk Teak. Um, junk Teak is Amarillo. Prairie Roads Junk Teak is Clovis. Uh, I don't know if it'll be this evening, maybe tomorrow, or maybe on Monday. I will get another event set up and going. Um, you guys should click going just so that you get the, 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 the reminders and the notifications. Even if you watch it afterwards, you'll have those reminders that, hey, that happened. Um, and along with decoupage, yes, and we will do it. Uh, the waxes first, I will do those. And I'm gonna go ahead and let Jameson do the, do the, the uh, decoupage. Aren't you kind? So kind. <laughs> You seem to be fighting with those lavenders. 
Well, do you remember I, I, I cut them off into like pieces of three? This was my last piece and it was just like an eight. So I'm, I'm actually doing eight little sprigs of lavender at a time on this one. The other one's rolling three, so not a big detail. And we're, and we're going in and over the humps. How big a city is Clovis? I have never heard of it before I found you. Um, Clovis and the surrounding area, I would say maybe 40,000 to 50,000 people. <coughs> it's got an Air Force base and a really cool main street. Uh, it's the home of Norman Petty, like where Buddy Holly and people like similar to that recorded their, their albums and stuff. It's a neat little town. It's great for families. It's small. Um, and then we also like have a store, a new store in Amarillo, Texas, which I'm sure you've heard of that. I think everybody on this planet has heard of Amarillo, Texas. Um, if not, please let me know and correct me. Um, and that's where we're at now. Right now we're actually in Amarillo. Oh, I didn't realize I was kind of drifted to the left. <laughs> oh, I will say that it's hard being at this store so late with all this candy. Yeah. So, let me flick this around real quick. Side note, here in the Amarillo store, we also sell um, all kinds of British goods. I get them imported from the UK like they actually come from the UK and I mean there's like it's the, it's Cadbury's but the real Cadbury's so let me tell you a secret on that most of the Cadbury chocolate that you buy if not all of it in the states is made by Hershey's it's they, they've licensed the name so you're not eating Cadbury you're eating Hershey's and it's not the same thing at all it's not the same thing at all um we get the real stuff imported from the UK, as well as all kinds of other stuff you see behind me. Like we've got HP sauce and PG tips and double deckers and sherbet lemons and Turkish delights, galaxy bars, hop knobs, digestives. We have all kinds of stuff. Um, and it's hard, it's hard <laughs> being here so late after dinner, you know, and um, sitting, what, two feet from it, two feet from all of that deliciousness. Karen is kind of singing the song Amarillo uh, by Morning. Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of waiting for that to come up just a little bit. Okay, so. That's what I thought whenever you said that. Is it? Okay, enough of me. Marathon bars? No, they're Mars bars. Oh. Ugh. Mars. Probably invert, like you know, facing the wrong way because we're on that camera. <laughs> or what else we got? We got Jammy Dodgers and Ribena and Barley Water Jaffa Cakes. Oh, Ooh, you should explain. Marmite. That. You should explain that. Uh, mess in the middle. Mess in the middle. Oh yeah. So we have a stack here because we had glass shelves as we do here. I don't know if this is even showing it. And we came in today, and I guess we had too much stuff on the top, and it crashed down all through all the shelves. So they're just kind of stacked there until we can get more glass. Oh, I'm getting off of this because... That was a fun surprise for the day. Yeah, that was a fun surprise of the day. I'm flicking this back around. I'm sorry, y'all. I went off on a tangent on candy. <laughs> He's moved on to another piece. It's another section yeah, he cut out in three. Pulled off lavender. It's a three one this time. Hopefully it'll be a little easier. Um, I, uh... I, I sanded to some raw wood. Raw wood's a little bit harder to get stick to. Oh, Michelle said, I do love Mars bars, but was asking if you had marathon bars. Boo hoo. Hmm. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've ever heard of a marathon bar. Is it an English candy? If it's an English candy, let me flick this back around real quick. If that's an English candy, yes, I can get it. 
Um, but if it's chocolate, it's not going to happen until the fall. I can't get it during the summer. It goes too far, and it's too hot. And I cannot afford to have it sent via refrigerated truck. So, if it's chocolate, it'll, it'll I can get them, but it won't, won't be till the fall. Back to the video. So he's applied his transfer. Now he's burnishing it. I mean, I feel so, I'm I'm sorry for those of who have watched this whole video and have heard me say that a thousand times. But like I, that's just how easy it is. There really isn't much else to explain. You apply the transfer however you want it. You peel, you take off the backing paper, stick it on your piece of furniture, use the little burnishing stick, peel off the plastic, boom, boom, it's done. I wanted to say Bob's your uncle, but I've never really, <laughs> I've never funny. really used that expression, but it came to my brain. But we've, we've had too many random things on here. <laughs> <sighs> Right, if you want to get, if you want, you also get your uh, weekly dose of expressions and what are correct and what are incorrect. Oh man, I I don't think I'll ever forget that whole skin the skin a cat thing. <laughs> what was it Melinda said? It was something. Ride a bull. Ride a bull. More than one way to ride a bull. More than one way to ride a bull. Regina said that lavender is a beautiful addition. I absolutely agree. I think it's insanely gorgeous. Who 6th Street is is going here in Amarillo? I bet you it's Amarillo 6th Street doesn't have anything on Clovis's Dragon Main today, not though. Not even a little. So she says, it's not necessarily UK. It was in the US when I was a kid in the 70s, but it's also in the UK. It's a flat braid of caramel dipped in chocolate. That makes me think of a... Uh, What's it gonna call? I don't know. Every time we do these that? videos, we go brain dead. We eat them like crazy. Curly, <laughs> curly, curly whirlies. whirlies. Yeah. Yeah, curly whirlies. That sounds a whole lot like a curly whirly. Um, do we have those in Clovis? I don't think we do. Um, you know what? That sounds a lot like a curly whirly, which is just a braid of chocolate covered in, <laughs> or a, a braid of caramel covered in chocolate, but it's Cadbury chocolate. So maybe that's maybe that is um, the UK version of what she's talking about. Marathon bar. I don't know, but I promise you, if it's the same thing, but this version is Cadbury's, the chocolate's better. My opinion. I can't say that for a definitive fact, but my opinion. It's kind of sad, you know. Once you go UK. Yeah, rhyme that. <laughs> what? I thought you were gonna rhyme that. No, I got thrown off. Michelle said, like a purple nurple. Yes, purple nurples. What's a purple nurple? Oh, boy. I mean, I know what that is, or a what... Child. <laughs> is, am I wrong? Is it like a candy? A purple nurple? I've been thrown off here. Purple nurple, that's when you grab and twist. Yes. Yeah. But how did we get onto that? Maybe with our sayings and our... Probably. I mean, it sounds completely appropriate for one of our videos. So, so am I surprised we're there? No. <laughs> uh, oh, I really like that lavender. I'll move this chair. And you know what? This, this antique uh, example chair... Is sturdy. It's sturdy as I heck, know. and it's so durable. It's not funny. This chair, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you all this. It's a sad looking chair. Except yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's an example. So of painted fabric, and a painted frame. It's random. It's just an old chair that I got at an, at an auction, and I had to. Uh, no, don't be quiet. It was hilarious. Um, I spaced again. Oh man. Chair. 
I can't keep my, my brain straight. Yeah, Anyways, I got the chair at an auction. We had to fix both of the front legs, and then we painted half of the fabric, as you can see, with uh, Annie's Capri Pink, just so you could, you know, customers coming in could see and feel the painted fabric. I mean, because that's the, that's the thing about an Annie Sloan going into an actual stockist store. I mean, the internet is great. The, inter the internet is wonderful. We're on the internet right now, but it's not the same thing as going into the store, seeing it, touching it. Um, it's not the same thing. Right, so, not the same thing. as Take my word on it. Yeah, <laughs> so lots of, you know, stockists in this country or around the world. Annie Sloan is a global brand. You can find it in practically every country. Um, it's... You can go into their stores and you can see stuff. You can look at the design books or the color mixing books. You can see the stencils. You can see the color cards. You can mess with this. You can see examples on furniture, uh, you know, painted furniture. It's it's an experience, and that's 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 the fun part. That's the downside to everything going online. You know, you kind of kill that. Right. But, anyways, after that. Oftentimes you get to come in and see a piece of furniture already painted the color you're thinking about using instead of just a little card. That's pretty. Karen said, heart, 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 so true. Absolutely. I mean, for example, let's say you came in, like, you're seeing this on, 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 on Facebook Live, and you're like, no, it can't be that seamless and perfect, and then you could literally come in and <laughs> touch it and feel it. It really is. Like, it really is. I'm going to explain it again. So, <laughs> I, was to, I was about to ask you, what is it I'm doing? <laughs> so, for those of you who have heard me say it a thousand times, plug your ears for a moment. So, what he has done is he has cut his pieces of transfer out that he wants to use and taken the backing paper off, which is that white paper that was just in his hand. He has applied it to his piece, his raw, unwaxed piece. Do not wax beforehand. And now he's using the burnishing stick with his head in the way. Let me turn Sorry. and try and get around this. Now he's using the burnishing stick that comes in every pack to burnish slash aka rub the transfer on. Um, this turn is, I'm, I'm giving bits of pain in the butt, so um, you can see right here where the seam is, I'm cutting it. That way I'm working with two smaller pieces, but you also see that I'm, I've already stuck the top and I've already stuck the bottom. So everything is already in place. So when I cut it, it doesn't matter if this flops up or not because the piece is already where it's supposed to be. Mary said, perfect. You know what, Mary? You've been watching our videos for years now. You know, if you ever come to Clovis or Amarillo, we would love to meet you. I'm just throwing that out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Back to the video. Do you want to know what someone needs to do? What's that? Like... No, that was just too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was thinking like, you know how Elvira presented movies and stuff? Mm -hmm. We need an Elvira. Own mistress of the dark. Well, you, you're not necessarily mistress of the dark, <laughs> but you know, like, I would love to meet you guys as well someday. So glad to see you putting the transfer and all those grooves between the drawers. So often I see people cut them off and place them only on drawer fronts. Nice for you to show how easy it is to keep 
the design flowing seamlessly. I agree. Personally, I prefer it like this. Um, I did it. I did it once the way you're talking about, and I sanded it off and redid it. Like it drove me nuts. Yeah, and it drove him nuts too. I don't like the gaps. I mean, I to each his own. I will absolutely say that to each his own. I don't like the gaps, so we're not gonna do the gaps, huh, Mr. Hip? Right. He doesn't like the gaps either. And I mean, I think you definitely have to take take that into consideration when you're deciding to do one of these transfers. As you know, there we we've done some French and some Victorian pieces that are so elaborate and swirly curly in these things and in the drawers that there's no way. And they're the they're the devil. No do you want to know what I think of every time w when you say that? You remember that. That big, long maple dresser we did um, with a Union Jack. The yes. entire dresser was a Union Jack. It was and it room. had all of those all of those edges and yes. trim and bits. There, and there, there, was, there was squared off pieces. There was rounded pieces. <laughs> and I saw that. It came in my memories the other day. And I was like, oh my god, that looks good. Like, yeah, <laughs> it, it was such a pain, I remember. It like came. four rolls of tape. Yeah, it came it out. Beautiful. It did. It came out absolutely beautiful, but it was so much work. It shouldn't have ever been that much work, but because we chose the dresser, we chose with all of those corners and grooves and round bits and squared bits and edges, the taping of it was insane. Like, Jameson should have gotten a master tape degree from that. The taping of it was insane, but like... Figuring out the dimensions of the British flag, it is not square. Like when you look at it, your eyes automatically say, okay, the right side and the left side are the carbon copies of each other. No. <laughs> no, like the lines in the <laughs> middle weird. don't match up, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's different. Michelle Hughes says, ooh, an American flag with dark wax. I absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. I think that would be beautiful. And because the lines are horizontal, I mean, I guess it still depends on the dresser, you know? Right. Sometimes straight lines are hardest to... Well, I guess not sometimes. I guess all the time straight lines are going to be harder anyways. I'm going to rub that off. I'm doing the same thing. Stick the top down so I know where we're... So I know it's in the right spot. Let me zoom in and you can explain this more. Okay, so I, I put my piece here, making sure it reaches inside the curb. Curb. I've stuck the bottom down. I've stuck the top down. So now I know no matter what happens, my piece is going to be lined up. And I'm going to come in here and just go crack, cut it. Now I have two pieces. Now it's so much easier to work with. But I know that whenever this gets pushed down, everything's going to line up absolutely perfectly. Do y'all want to see him open a drawer? I want to see him open a drawer. Well, I haven't cut him. I haven't raised him. I'm like, oh. we ain't ready to go open no drawers. <laughs> Top drawer. We'll open a drawer soon. It's 9.49. When did we start this video? 8.30. That's our time. Oh my gosh! Here we go again. Well, what I can do is I can finish this one right here, and then we can wax this top drawer. Not the top drawer. We can wax this, sew it on, and cut. They can see pictures of it tomorrow. I mean, we can take forever. Oh, if we, yeah, if you want Are to. people watching? Yeah. If people are watching, I'll keep going. You're at 115 viewers. Yeah, as long as people are watching, we'll keep yeah, well, I don't have a tripod. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> Amarillo isn't set up like Clovis is. You know, not yet. Getting there. I just don't want you to wax that top drawer and then be like, oh, I wish I had put this there or that. You know what I mean? Oh, I gotcha.
Zooming in, zooming in. Beautiful. I will say that my my grooves aren't working up quite as well as they should have been because not 100% perfect, but 98%. <laughs> it's painterly florals. It's painterly. It gives you some room. Right. Are you staying in that frame? Yeah. Don't dare leave my frame. So one more time. Sticking the bottom down. Making sure I have enough room to make my turn. Turn again and stick my top down. Tell or not, but my preferred method is to pull and and burnish at the same time. I've watched a lot of people do these. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody do it quite the way I do it, but it's just what I like to do. Boom. Now what are we doing? No, I think are we want, doing roses? I just want the stalks. I don't want the no. open roses. I'm gonna put I'm gonna hold it up and see if that's what I want. I think in my I think Wait, I'm you have more lavender? Yeah, I think I should do more lavender. I do. I think I this uh, you, I guess we can ask everybody. So do you see how far this lavender comes to this frame? Frame being this inner line on this side? Do you see the space over there? Do you think he should put another single piece of lavender in there to try and even it out? Or do you like it's wabi, what is that, wabi sabi? Wiki wabi? <laughs> no, it's like wabi sabi, the like perfect and the imperfect, you know? Yin yang? The yin yang? No, it's not <laughs> what I mean. <laughs> I guess I haven't heard the one you're trying to talk about. Well, I really think you should. We're not getting any comments. Put one right here. One, or, yeah, because like, the, do you see what I'm saying? The space in between that frame edge mm -hmm. and that frame edge is different. Mm -hmm. And or you could also like cut them in half, the ones you have left, and do the bottom so you have different level levels and layers of the what's it called? Lavenders. <laughs> I don't mind that idea. Um... Michelle says, "Leave it like it is." Regina says, yes, a piece on the opposite side. So I'm voting with Regina. With Regina? Um, but, I mean, it is what it is. Everyone is entitled to their opinions. That's what, that's what, what we asked for. Absolutely. How about... How about we meet in the middle and I do a half a piece of lavender with it? And then we see if we like it to do the rest. But then if you don't like it, you'd only have that one itty bitty little short one. I did. Don't like it here. Michelle said no. Do <laughs> layers. She's putting her foot down. <laughs> <laughs> so I absolutely feel like with every piece of my soul that you have to put one more on that edge. 
or I will look at this thing every day and it will eat at me on the inside. Okay? Okay. That's all I ask. And here, actually, I have to step away for one moment, so I'm handing you over to him. Oh. My, me personally, I don't like Matchy Mart by. I don't like Matchy Mart. Well, I don't think it's very matchy. I mean, the whole thing is... Like, you have the higher sunflower there, and you have the higher sunflower there, and the space would still be different. To me, it would just be cohesive. That's all I ask for. That's my only request on this thing. Cohesive. Well, hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, this might be complicated, but I'm going to try to keep going. Okay, there we go. As soon as I find my little stick, the burnisher, there it is. Okay, so this is the little hole Shane's talking about. And we will fill it in just for him. Right here. Up the bottom. You can still, if you can hear that or not, but you can kind of hear the uh, the dimension in the paint. Make sure we have enough to go around our turns. Started with just my nails, yeah. Scissors. And you can see there's still pieces that need to be pushed down, but We'll get that happening when it's like that. It's much easier. Come on, focus. Yeah, I, I I went through and picked one that was a little different. Not like you like. I don't know who said it. I didn't want it to be all one length across, so I tried to find one that was different in height. Kind of going over here in my frame. I don't want to. So I'm just going to cut that bit. That's the whole. The whole thing that inspired this was the fact that this had this nice frame around it. So I want to make sure that I'm staying inside of it. That was my whole, my whole entire thought process was behind this, all to this frame. For this, you do that one handed? Yes. Wow. <laughs> See, you can even do these things one handed. <laughs> it was like a, it was like an uber close up too. Okay, I do want to do a few. I want to spread these out. This is what I have left, so I'm going to cut them up and spread them out. I like the idea of it being a little bit denser. What will the drawer pulls look like? I don't remember what the handles pull look like in that. I have to tell you, these drawer pulls, I think, are really cool. I 
they, they're like original nineteen. This is like a this is like like a nineteen thirties nineteen forties piece. So super funky. Let me zoom in. I don't remember if it goes on the inside or the outside. I think I would think the inside maybe. I think I think they're perfect. I think they're super cool. Yeah. Funky. So you're doing the. I'm just making sure that I'm I'm on the same page here. You're doing the layer thingy. Yes. Cool. There's a question. Are you going to try and build a stem out of those roses? We're going to build a stem out of the roses. Um, I don't know. The, rose, the roses stems are very rose stems. They're thorny. It's pretty. It's pretty um, obvious what they're supposed to be. You can look. I don't like how I have. I cut these leaves, so I'm going to do it as cutting them off. So it has a stem now instead of leaves. I know everybody's getting online and ordering these right now. So. Letting them know how this how to make these cut the same way. I don't like these leaves here, cutting these this one off. I don't like this one, I don't like this one, and I don't like this one either. Wow. Okay. And then boom, they were gone. Yeah, they have stock, so they look like they're actually meant to be starting here instead of what they are. And I'm trying to be organic, so I'm trying to think about it, I just stick stuff on here. Not always easy. We've got Miss Sandra watching. How are you doing, Miss Sandra? You're not in Clovis doing the Dragon Main thing? I'm super sad I missed that this year. Everybody's having a lot of fun. Lots of fun, and it's always nice to see people down on Main Street. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Do y'all want zoomed in or the current view? I don't like to make people motion sick, so I don't want to go back and forth and back and forth, you know? Your hand is like right up in there, I can yeah, say I'll that. Do, I like doing the ones, I like doing the bottom, especially for videos, because you can see better. Granny says, hey guys. Hey, Granny, how hey, are hey. you? Look what we're doing. <laughs> Say hi. Hey, Granny.
Granny said she loves it. Well, good. I get, I get most of my creativeness from her. That she wishes she was here. Oh, we wish you were here too. I wish you were coming to the 4th of July barbecue thingy, but I'm also happy to hear that you have plans with friends. That's fun. Yeah, I love the layers. I'm so glad you decided to do that. What are your thoughts? Yes. Absolutely. What are y'all's thoughts on the layers? Keep grabbing it from the top. Sorry, everybody. Michelle says, love me some layers. Look so natural. Granny says, don't overdo it. <laughs> Sandra says, love the layers. I love all the opinions. Keep them coming. Mary said that the layers look amazing. I, I agree. I, I do too. I'm going to use another term. Are you ready for this? Skirt. Okay, so I also agree with Granny though. Yes. Like you have to be careful because you put too much, and it's kind of like putting lipstick on a pig. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you lose it. You start losing things. Yeah, you lose it. You lose. Uh, it just gets overdone, and I don't. That's the only thing that comes to my brain. It's lipstick on a pig. Is lipstick on a pig? Yep. I love it. I'm excited. So are you going to dark wax this and all that fun stuff? I don't know. I don't I don't ever really I don't ever really know all my pieces. Probably I mean there's so many there's so many grooves and like places to shadow in it that it'll, I'm sure I'll end up dark waxing it. Regina, our current hours are Saturdays from 12 to 6 and Sundays from 12 to 4 so you can come see us tomorrow if you so desired to um, we are trying to be open more um, and we think we have I actually need to message her it's 10 o'clock woo it's late uh, we think we have found an employee we have been trying for weeks to find one um, To find somebody, one was the wrong term to use on that, um, so that we can be open more days than just two days a week in Amarillo. We're really working hard and putting all guns to that. Um, but right now, Saturdays 12 to 6, Sundays 12 to 4, um, and 24-7 on, online <laughs> at junktink.net. Granny says it's perfect right now. <laughs> it is. Oh, and Mary loves the expression. I'm assuming the uh, lipstick on a pig. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of our favorites. We use it quite a bit. Okay, so what is everybody's thoughts? Does everybody agree with Granny? That's it? Yeah, I'll tell you, if I was myself, if I was going to put anything else on it, I would just put a couple of these rows, but not the open rows, it's just the butted stems. Am I allowed to give an opinion? You're allowed to give an opinion. Uh, can you do a close up now? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. 
Kim screams rosebuds. She screams it? Well, there was lots of exclamation points. <laughs> <laughs> um, my opinion is... Um, I wouldn't do the rosebuds. Anybody else have any opinions? Uh, that's just my opinion. That's, and that's all it is, is an opinion. Like, I don't know why, but to me, it's like almost, it's, it's almost country. And I mean, I guess roses can be country too, but you don't have to cut it out. I can zoom in. Oh, you want to put it up there? Right. Where would the rosebuds be placed? So we have these we have these two shorts these short stalks that I would put somewhere in here, and then the two long stalks would frame it one on each side. Okay. So show me that again. Short, two short row stalks, and then two long row stalks. Four row stalks. That's it. <laughs> That's all I would. Uh, let's but see. I also I also would be super content if it stayed exactly as it is. I have to go back up. I messed up the comments somehow. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna grab a razor so I can cut this and show the nuts. Granny says it's perfect right now. Kim says rosebuds. Regina asked where they would be placed. Sandra said she thinks that it's perfect. Kim says unless you have some other wildflowers. No. No. I kind of agree. I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm with shade on the roses. That's and that's why I want to do the closed buds because they are. I don't know, more filthy. Like, I guess in real life you wouldn't see lavender and um, sunflowers and rosebuds all in the same. I mean, I don't know. Unless you planted it. Like, right, like, unless you planted it. Um, Granny says no. Michelle says no roses. Too much of a muchness is what she says. Too much of a muchness. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's, that's, that that's the expression right there. And Regina says she likes it as is. Granny says put on the hardware. <laughs> She's like, you're done. <laughs> Mary says, it. can you cut one out and just hold it up where you want, hold it up where you want them? Yes. I'm going to cut one of the small ones because it's easiest. Oh, and there was another one about leaves. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, someone wanted leaves? Yeah, Rhonda said maybe a leaf or two up high. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Like standing away, I I I don't. I I love it. I think it's the very beautiful. If I was gonna do leaves, I would do like a couple of leaves in here, hiding this. I do, I do probably a couple of leaves here and maybe here. Michelle says. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Granny said the hardware will add to it. And yes, then will. Michelle said, go, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a very fun video. Yes. Y'all are great. Okay, so there's a rose. And once I see it up there, I don't, I don't, I'm not a huge fan. No, I'm not. I'm not, not a fan at all. at all. But that's my opinion. You do what you want. Are, 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 are you decided? Yeah, we're not going to do the rose. We're going to start waxing it. Wouldn't this be the, wouldn't these be the leaves? Yeah. Oh, I, I am down to do the leaves. So you just got leaves, just leaves, that you do whatever you want with them. I'm going to pick out some that I like in some different colors. Rhonda says no rose. Kim says nope, no roses. Yeah, holding something up there, I mean, actually seeing it makes a big difference. The tricky part is going to be... I, I like it as is. Karen says, say no to roses. <laughs> okay. Mary says, okay, maybe you're right. Let's go with some leaves. Karen says, it's gorgeous already. Oh, a leaf, a leaf has been added. Burnishing stick. Everybody will always remember for their whole life, this is a burnishing stick. And this is burnishing. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. My opinion is, is once that leaf is on there, I I think it's good. That's my opinion. I'm gonna say it again. That's my opinion. Um, everybody should voice theirs. Like I think it's beautiful. And 
good with you too. Very much so. That like that. Open this up. Okay. So now then. Uh, you want to grab your leaves? My leaves? Those two. Oh. Okay, so I have my I have my razor blade, and I'm just gonna go through and push it along. Most of them, are, most of it is already broken. I just want to make sure that if it does break on its own, then I'm trying to help it break in the right place. There we go. Okay, Sandra, I don't know why, but I'm not understanding what you wrote. She wrote mine too. Now I finished piece of art. It is now I finished piece of art. She's the one I think that said darn auto corrected a minute ago. <laughs> no, I don't think she was. I think that was uh, Michelle. Can you rephrase that? I think the I think she's meaning mine too, as in like her opinion. Remember when I said it was my opinion? Right. Mine too, yes. Yeah, that would make sense. Makes sense. And I think <laughs> instead of I, it's supposed to be A. So now a finished piece of art. It is now a finished piece of art. Exclamation point. Uh, yeah. Just read it funny, so everything was fine. The whole time we just read, read, read it differently. Okay, so once you cut it, you're going to have these natural little pieces hanging over. I don't know if you can see them or not. Let me zoom in. My talk text cannot understand me. Yes, that's what she meant. Okay, I'm zoomed in. So you can see... We have these pieces here. What you want to do with that it helps to make it cleaner. Is you want to take it, you want to fold it under, push it like magic. So I will say you can do that. I have also taken a piece of sandpaper and gone this way, not up, not out, but like down and in and it'll take all of that paper off as well. So we oh yeah. Hey, do the middle drawer. Do the middle drawer? Yeah, because I'm making it a thing. Like remember when I was like we should open the drawers and everybody was like yes? Jocelyn says hi. Hi Jocelyn. Look, look, get ready to open the art. It's a little hard because it doesn't have any handles, but hey, there we go. Cleaning up the edges. It's the details that matter. It's the details that matter. Yeah, they do the same thing as Phil. We push them over. Granny said hardware. No, Granny, I have to wax this thing. It's got to be sealed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold it up for you so you can see it. And honestly, this hardware is... I've never seen hardware like it. I don't, I don't remember how I took it off. I'm pretty sure that that higher bit goes in the center. Like, almost in certain. Center. What? I just, I just reiterated in the center. Yeah, in the center. So, yes. Rhonda says love it. Sharon says love it. an idea... The hardware. Like I said, it's hard just to hold up there. I think it's great. And then up here, we have brass knobs for it. Okay, so we're going to wax one drawer and then we're going to call it a night. Should we do the top drawer or should we do the middle drawer? It's busy. Uh, do the top one. Top one. Well, I'm excited for this too because these colors are really about to pop out. The colors of the paint and the transfer. Okay, <coughs> so I have a very large container of Amy Sloan Clorox. Uh, this is also made on one website. Huh? It is. If you don't have it in store here in Amarillo, but you can. You can order it, and, and instead of shipping, click pick up, and we will bring it with us. To Amarillo, it. yes. Um, or you can have it shipped. Either way, it's a two and a half liter can. It really saves a bunch of money, especially if you're doing a lot of pieces to get the larger can. It's kind of like Costco or Sam's Club, you know? When you buy it in bulk, you save money on it. And if you use it a lot, it really does save you a decent amount of money. Okay, and then I'm gonna be waxing with the um, Annie's own large wax brush. Um, 
so we have. <laughs> so, Kim says, not going to lie, it reminds me of one of those 1950s trucks. Are you talking about like like, like the colors, Kim? Because I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes, that's, and that's why I didn't want. I wanted to age it with the color, but age it finally. Um, and then when we wax, we use blue shop towels. They're inexpensive. You can find them anywhere. We have played and played and played and played and played with different kinds of lint-free rags, lint-free options. Um, they lie. <laughs> They're not lint-free. These, we have found, are pretty darn close to lint-free. And what we do is we fold them into fours. And now I have one area, two areas, three, four. And wait, there's more. If you turn it inside out, you have four more sides. And we do. If you take both, you will literally use all eight sides of this whenever we're waxing. And then you just throw it away. You don't have to worry about cleaning it or anything. Because the key is, is that once that piece of cloth is full of wax, you're not taking off the excess wax anymore. You're kind of burnishing the wax that's on that cloth onto the wax you're trying to take off. And it'll leave you, you know, an uneven finish in the sense of you'll have a shiny spot and a matte spot and a shiny spot and a matte spot. Even if that happens, don't worry. Just give it a few days. It'll, it'll, leave it out. it'll probably calm down. If it really, if it doesn't, and you really can't stand it, go over it with another thin coat of clear wax, making sure to constantly flip your cloth around, um, and you'll have wonderful results. Also, I'm flipping this and I'm interjecting. <laughs> so one more thing. Oh, I don't have my hat on. Hey, <laughs> y'all didn't see that. So, anyways. I'm interjecting blue shop towels on almost every every color except for three. Do not use a blue shop towel on Athenian black. Do not use a blue shop towel on Oxford navy. And do not use a blue shop towel on graphite. On any of those three colors, you want to use a black cloth. An old cut up black t-shirt. Go to Goodwill. Go here. Go there. Wherever you go, um, use a black cloth on those three colors. Other than that, blue shop towels are amazing. Just, just, they're the bee's knees. And Angie Rodriguez, do y'all paint dressers for clients? Yes, we do, all the time. We have custom work all the time. Uh, are you in Amarillo or are you in Clovis? I will say in Clovis, <laughs> eh, I'm about, to, I, I'm kind of in the middle of signing a deal to do like what, 13 15. pieces, 15 pieces? 15 pieces, yeah. 15 a whole pieces. House. Oh, yeah, a whole house of furniture. <laughs> so, um, if you're in Clovis, you need to let me know soon so I can get you scheduled out because I'm about to be booked for a while. Um, Amarillo is a different story. Let me flip this back around. Okay, so we're ready, to wax? we're ready to wax. Show us what you got. Okay, so waxing is super simple. Um, get, get, a little bit of wax, get a little bit of wax on your brush. I'm going to use some of this in this lid. I off it into the lid. Just a little bit of wax on my brush. I'm literally going to rub it into the paint. So you have to remember whenever you're waxing. Look how much rich, more yes. rich that color this is. is That's insane. I've been, waiting for this. I've been waiting to do this since I did it because it's. I want these colors. These are bright, fun, bold colors. I'm ready for them to pop out. Um, but we have to remember that we're not putting a coat of wax over paint like you have done with every other top coat you've ever used. What we are doing is we are actually putting the wax inside of the paint. The paint is drinking the wax. Whatever the paint does not drink, we're gonna wipe it off. It doesn't need it, it's too much, it's extra. That's, that color difference is mm -hmm. insane. Angie, yes, let me know. Um, just shoot me some pictures and we will go from there. Um, and Mary said, well, this has been a blast. So much fun watching you guys. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for watching, Mary. This has been a really, yes, really I've fun a, video. I've had a good time. Okay, simple. You have to apply a lot of pressure. I'm just wiping off. Watch extra. I want to stress that. He's not scrubbing it. He's gently wiping off the excess. A lot of people, I don't know why, I think it's the whole Mr. Miyagi wax on, wax <laughs> off thing. I really do think that you have to like scrub and push that stuff off <clears throat> and you absolutely do not. It's, it's a gentle wipe. Gentle wipe, get all the excess off, you're done. I mean, you, you need to realize, you know, 
these products are made to do the work for you. The paint is made to do the work for you. The wax is made to do the work for you. All you have to do is apply it the right way, and it does magical things, magical things. So I will, I will tell you, I'm not sure how much the video can pick up. Uh, most any Sloan colors are like this. Like you can see, this has wax. This does not. This isn't sticky. This isn't wet. This is it. If this was the top, I would be comfortable putting something onto it right now. Yes, you want to be careful. You want to be careful with it for uh, it's supposed to be five to twenty-one days that it cured. But this piece is ready to be used. Once this is waxed, you got yes. I will e e reiterate to reiterate that yes, you have to be very careful. You don't want to slide anything on it. You don't want to walk in the room and throw your keys down on top of it. Not for five to twenty-one days until it fully cures. Uh, the wax. The paint soaks up the wax, the alcohols and the stuff in the wax starts to evaporate and disappears, and this gets hard as a rock. Once that happens, nothing is bulletproof, but it's pretty darn strong. Car new wax. It's the hardest wax on the, on the planet. Okay, I'm interjecting again really quick. Um, what a difference Fun Night thinks. Thank you, Sharon. It has been. It has been. This has been really, really, really fun. Um, I don't know if you were on when we were talking about it earlier. Next week, we've decided um, we're going to do decoupage and waxing. Um, I'm going to do. The, I'm yeah. I'm going to do the waxing. We'll do that first. Then we'll switch, and Jameson will do the decoupage because I don't like getting my fingers sticky. Um, Sandra says waxing is so much easier when you use the wax brush. Absolutely. <laughs> like, I'm nodding my head too. Yeah, yes. he's nodding his head yes. too. Am I getting you? Yeah. It it really, really, really is. I know when I say that to people, some people look at it kind of like I'm trying to upsell them, yeah. and I'm not. Like I'm not. I just want everyone to have the greatest experience with the paint. Um, that's my upsell. When you use this stuff correctly, and you realize how much fun and easy this is, you're going to come back and you're going to get more paint. So. I want you to be prepared to have all of that fun. And Sandra made the most awesome point. It is so much easier with the wax brush. Um, you don't waste as much when you use the wax brush. It's easier to get it into the corners, grooves, and cran you know nooks and crannies. It's easier to get it into uh, the texture if you have uh, created brush strokes or you've stippled and you've done all this stuff. It's much much easier. You wax also, brush all the way. You can also achieve any level of sheen that you want. Yeah. You don't have to get a gloss wax and a matte wax and a one wax. And if I wanted this to be super shiny, I'd wait probably till the morning and I'd come in and I'd buff it again. Buffing is not scrubbing it. Literally, I would just be doing this. Light, lightly lightening it until it's as, as shiny as I want. The more you do it, the shinier it's going to get. Wow. That's nuts. The difference. And like he said, I'm going to, I am going to reiterate this point. <laughs> you can easily see where has been waxed and where has not been waxed. Where has been waxed is good. Where has not been waxed needs wax. It's like, it's, it's easy. See, look at the two differences in the colors of the drawers. Also, a key I'm going to point out, there's no smell. Like, there's no smell to any of this paint. There was no smell to the IODs. I mean, if you can even smell it, the wax smells like crayons. It's, um, we're doing this in the middle of the store. He's sitting on a rug. <laughs> like, we're not worried about it because it's very easy to use. It's very eco and, and friendly. It's certified toy safe by European standards, which are way higher than they are here. Um, and I'm going to re, I'm also going to point out again, like he said, wax. Uh, you apply the wax, wipe off the excess, be careful with your piece. Yes, you can use it, but be careful with it. I always say for a week to two weeks. Technically, like Jameson said, it's five to 21 days. Um, I always say a week to two weeks. In this particular area, it's really dry and it's hot. So we have that advantage. It cures fast. Uh, whenever we went and did all the training and stuff, we were in New Orleans and they were all like not very thrilled when we told them we can do something and it's done. <laughs> like right. it's cured in like three days. It's totally done. We like stage our pieces the second we're done waxing it. Yeah, we Literally do. The second we're and done I'm gonna waxing. say that like, like like I said, you can use your piece right away. Um, that's what we do at the store. Like if he if he finishes this tonight, it will be out in the store tomorrow for sale with pieces on it. We'll take pictures of it. We'll move it around. I mean, it's fine. It's durable. That paint is on there. 
you just want to be careful with it for a week to two weeks. And, and it also, we've done this enough times, I can tell you, it also seals our image onto here very well. God, I love it. Yeah, it came out beautiful. It really did. It came out beautiful. I'm kind of irritated that it took you like three, four weeks to do that. For those three or four weeks, we got that like when we were opening the store. Before the store opened. But like, in Amarillo, yeah. But we just haven't had time. It's been so busy. This yeah. has been in the workroom, right? I've like, been planning and planning and planning. And then this came out and I'm like, oh my God, that's what I want to do. I just need time. And I would, like I said earlier, I, I probably, it probably only took me an hour to paint it. It did not take long. It was not that much work. Jocelyn says, I was in Clovis and went to a car show at the park and there were some there were so many cool cars. Yeah. I bet, Jocelyn. We're jealous we missed it. It's uh it's nine thirty in Clovis. You should tell your mom to take you down to Cruise Main Street. Like that you wanna talk about a I'm lot sure of cars. Her is asleep in bed. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. And can you imagine Kelly's anxiety doing that? I remember Kelly's anxiety during the life parade last year. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be funny. <laughs> well, before we get off here, guys, is there any other questions? I've had a really good time. I'm glad that we got to interact. So it's much, much, much more fun when people are interacting with us. Michelle says, you should be very pleased, Jameson. Great job. I agree. It is beautiful. I do. I, I'm happy. I like it. I, I am happy. wonder where Granny went. Oh, I'm sure Granny thinks spades. I can tell you where my whole family is. Mom and Dad are in Alaska. <laughs> All right. So, are we gonna are we gonna cut it? Are we gonna finish it there? She yeah, says the, minute, no. This questions. means Kelly's still awake. She says the streets are crazy, so we didn't go to the dragon thing. It's uh, the streets are crazy, Jocelyn, but it's a lot of fun. It um, is a lot of fun. But that would probably like one of these years we'll have to come get you and take you in the. Trans Am will be fun. Yeah, it'll be all kinds of fun. Regina says, it's beautiful. Enjoy the evening. Sandra says, thank you. Very timely presentation. Sandra, it's 10.30. We've been on here for, <laughs> we've hours. been on here for two hours. Two hours. Um, Granny is here. Yay. Hey, Granny. Hey, Jameson's going to call you here in a bit when we get off of here. Um, and Michelle says, thanks, guys. Thanks, Michelle, for tuning in, tuning in and watching. Uh, like I said, here soon, I will get an event put up um, for the live this this next Saturday with the waxing and the decoupage. So if y'all enjoyed this, definitely find that event, click going so you get the reminders for it, and boom, boom, there we go. We're gonna be done. You just say goodbye. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.